Hi guys. Well, I guess it's time I take my diesel heater apart. It, uh, I think it's got soot build up inside. It's acting funny. It um, goes woof, 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 kind of a noise. Funny. So uh, I'm thinking it's a soot buildup from what I've been uh, uh, observing so far. So here it is. I've taken it out. Oh, and the shell is off. Right now, the fan has some dirt build up in there, you know, just after time. And you can see that there is, see that? So I'm thinking, the only thing that's wrong with it is the soot. The only thing I don't have is another gasket, or I have some gasket sealer. I don't know where it is. So I may have to go get some of that. But I'll take it apart. And then I'll show you where uh, where it is uh, when I get it apart here. Okay, so far I've got, <clears throat> got the fan off. Just goes on here. Uh, now for the burn chamber. This is where the fuel goes in. Uh, around. And, back, and right in here. And there's a little mystifier in here I'll explain all this a little bit later but this is the burn chamber so we'll find out when we get that apart how bad it is for soot okay guys back at you in a minute all right the moment of truth let's pull this out the burn chamber and let's see what we have Well, it's got a little bit of soot, actually not that bad. I am surprised. Well, yeah, there is soot in there, or on there. And I don't know if you can see inside the burn chamber. In my opinion, I've seen some on YouTube that were way worse than this. I don't know why I'm having problems with the burn. But all I got to do now is clean that out. And then the most important part is right here. Inside there is a tiny screen, a mystifier. Let me get that out of there. I got to go get a tool for that. All you need for that is just a seven millimeter, or pardon me, eight millimeter. Uh, there's the uh, mystifier screen. This little screen uh, takes the diesel and turns it into a mist, uh, which allows it to burn better. That is sooted up, but not bad. And then the hole that it goes into has to be clean. And there is a hole right here right at the end. That has to be clear and open. And when you put the screen in, it has to go in past past that hole down into, into here. It has got to go not like this, but all the way down so it's past past that hole that's where air comes in okay we got to do some cleaning clean up the soot we'll get back at you when uh, I have it a little better than this all right she's all apart it's 
I can't believe it. Like, it's actually not that bad. I have no idea why it's... Uh, I cleaned that up the best I could. It's not really that bad. I've seen some on uh, YouTube that were way worse than that. What I think is happening, actually, is happening right here in the burn chamber itself. Get this in the sun. Now, if you can see inside there, behind that little piece that has a whole bunch of little pieces cut out of it, behind there I cannot clean. And I'm thinking that's, well, that's actually where the burn is because the uh, glow plug goes right in there, that little hole, and all the burning is done right in there. And you just, that part you can't get apart to clean. So I'll clean it the best I can, put it all back together, and we'll see what happens with the uh, sound. It, it did work before, but it would turn off by itself. Uh, after, it, just like it's pumping too slow, it would, the, the flame would go out. It's just, uh, maybe I need a new screen actually for the inside. So I'll have to order one of those for next time. Okay guys, I'll put it back together and we'll get you then. See if I can kind of put this back together a little bit while you can watch. Um, there is a gasket in there and it's still good, so I don't need to replace that. And this goes in only one way. And this goes down. Wrong way. It goes like this. There we go. That is it. Four screws. Okay, the burn chamber is on. Just like that. Now, this part here is where air uh, the fan blows in there and then this fan here this little fan here keeps this part cool and then this fan here blows over the whole unit which gives you the hot air and the gasket that was on here is gone and I put this uh, gasket sealant stuff on and it's kind of ruined now but I think it should be okay um, so what I'm gonna do first of all is put in the glow plug and I'm gonna put in a new one because here's the old one now if you use a plier on here to do this let me just show you how this goes this goes inside there very carefully because the tip of these things are, I think they're porcelain or something, very, very fragile. Not only that, it is super fragile right on this end. And that's because, how I know that, is because when I put this in here, and now you can't get a, a wrench, a, a socket wrench on here, or an, uh, um, an open end, a box and uh, wrench because it's in a hole. Ta da! I broke the last one off. Very easily done. So you turn it in by hand first. And you can see in there where it's seating in. Okay, I've got the glow plug in nice and tight. Let's put the rubber.
gasket down in the hole properly. Once you break that glow plug off, you know how uh, delicate it really is. When you buy them, they come with uh, this protective cover. I can throw this one away, no good. All right, guys, now for the fan. Just goes right on like so. And we'll put the four bolts. This thing sits in my unit like this. And I can see from this way, I can't see this part. So I take this off and I just use a plier and get in there sight unseen, taking it apart. Came out no problem. When I went to put it back, I went to tighten it. And I guess I didn't grab this part. I grabbed the, the wires on top and just, it just, ping, snip, came right off, no problem. So that was not good. Just so any of you out there that are attempting to do this, you know what's involved. Now there, you can buy a wrench, a socket wrench, that has a slit up the side, and that goes over the wires and it's, it works perfect. But you can make your own by a seven millimeter socket, uh, and then cut a slot in it. And And then that will work. And I'm going to do that because I can see that the glow plugs on these things and that little screen on the inside, the mystifier screen, are probably the only things that you're really going to have to purchase uh, extra. This one here is three years old. It's my third winter with this now. Uh, 200 and $215 Canadian cheap very cheap these things are very cheap and they work actually very well now I did I've seen a lot of videos on uh, comparing these with the Wabasco or the S bar there is no comparison friends it's like comparing a Cadillac to a, a Volkswagen yes they're both cars they'll both get you from here to there but <laughs> same with these these are Chinese diesel heaters. They're cheap. But, at the end of the day, they still work. They may have inferior uh, products and things, but man, that's the heat sensor. Okay, guys, it looks like we can put her back together, the rest of it. <coughs> And the housing is right here. Just clean some. Now you'll see how easy this thing comes apart and goes together. It just slides in there. Just like that. This bottom part is the part that holds it on. So, we'll get everything nice and clean before we put it back together. The shell goes back on. No screws to hold the shell on. And then the end cap, it just screws on. That is it. It is together. I'm going to set it up with power and see how it works. Okay, guys, we're close to getting it back together. Got the two, the intake and the out, uh, the exhaust here. Intake. The hose goes through a hole up front, which I'll clean an area to stick it through there. 
and we just to go just about got her back together here so the plug boy it's nice and sunny today guys okay let's get back at her all right guys all back together should I start it up and see if it works holy okay let's give her a shot fans on seems to be turning with no restrictions uh, we'll just sit here and listen see what it does We'll have a look at the electronics up front. Let's go have a see. Okay, what's happening here? Okay, it shows the fans turning. Everything's functioning. The glow plug is on. It's 17 degrees. Well, it says it's 17 degrees right there. All right, I can hear the exhaust. It does sound a little different than when it was before, so I must have cleaned something up. Let's see if you can hear that. I'll show you my exhaust. My exhaust is right there. All right, let's see what happens. There you go. I don't think the pump is on yet. Pump just started. Sure is quieter than what it was before. It would just go like poof, 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 poof. Was try you can tell it was trying to light. I don't know if you can hear this now. It's going woof 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 woof. But that's that's normal. That's supposed to be like that, just not as loud as it was before. Alright. There the fan just kicked in a little higher. Which means the glow plug just went out. So we're back down to 0 0.5, 0 0.6 amps draw. Now my door comes right down here. I got, oh, maybe an inch of clearance inch and a half. I don't think that's... It worked for three years, so I don't know. Little roar down here out of the exhaust. Fixed my wiring up there a little better. Beautiful. Ah, right on. Okay, let's clean up. <laughs> 